Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Pokemon Scarlet. What a beautiful screen we have now here. The sun setting on our adventure, but we're not quite done. As it turns out, there's a mystery gift item you can get that expands the story of the DLC. How much and how long it takes, I don't have a clue. We're gonna find out today. I was completely forgotten the last stream when I made a few different plans about, okay, what is there still to do? What can we still try? I completely forgot about Mr. Lunchman guy uh, in the legendaries that we can find. That's something we can do. I think there's one more teacher that I can invite that I haven't fought yet, so I'll start with that and then we'll do a surprise straight this year. No, I brought Miriam here before, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's just straight up go outside. Got Squirtle on the team because I found a Squirtle, so I'm going to evolve that for Dex. Head to the Poke Portal! Can we figure out what our surprise rate is that we left here from yesterday. Shiny Rhyperior. Is this another from a certain website thing? Why are there so many? Like, they look cool. Yay, shinies. But I, just... I don't know what to think. Plus, I've got a Toxic Pack, so we did this. Toxic Packs. But well, that's ToxicPacks.net. Of course. Like EV trained as well. Of course they are. Let's trade a Dodo. And we'll find out later in the stream what we get for the Dodo. Meanwhile, let's see what this mystery gift is all about. Mythical Petcherberry gift. Oh, Petcherberry is mythical, I don't know, but let's find out. Yay. So where do I pick this up? Is this an item that I now own? Picture of the highest quality, it said that a picture berry tree carefully tended by an expert girl will produce one of these berries every few years. Yep. Now what? <laughs> I have no clue what to do with it. Ah, Mr. Snacksworth, yes. Oh wait, did we ever catch Latias? I don't think we ever went to see Latias. Mountains and a terrible storm blew in, and I had no choice but to hunker down in a cave underground. I don't even rightly know if I should call the place a cave, it was all soaring heights and wide passages, fuddling us any labyrinth, too. Sometimes there's a sheet of ice near me, suddenly up and moved. Okay, so let's try and remember which Pokemon we've even seen out of the legendaries. We had Latios. Who was near this water. Moltres, who was somewhere here, but I don't know where. Articuno, who was near this Poke Center, and I caught Articuno. There was Latias, and I don't remember the hint for Latios whatsoever. 
And I'll cure him something about glossy on a mountain within a cavern or a cave or is it is always off a passage and then going in here? I feel like it might be. We'll give it a shot. And maybe along the way something triggers or the Petra Berry, I don't know. If anyone in chat knows how to activate it, do not tell me, please. I'll talk to some people as I go along. I'm going to school for Team Star anyway. We'll see if something triggers. It was relatively wide for the caves in 31. Also, this section. I hear him. <laughs> that wasn't too hard to find. Would you like to battle? I think eventually Mr. Snacksworth, after I've, he doesn't give me any more snacks because I haven't done enough BP quests or I've just gotten all of the hints, then I can reread what the hints were. I just want to read the hint for Moltres and Latias so I can even know where they are. I don't want them to be told exactly where they are. I want to find them myself. But I'd like to follow the hints and I just want access to the hints before he gives me something. Hey, that was a quick capture. Where you got, Kyurem? You know what we also got? Gordal Digivolve 2! What are you? War Turtle's long furry tail is a symbol of longevity. So this Pokemon is quite popular among older people. Oh, that's it. I should look at the Pokedex art because there's so much great art. A reward for the blueberry progress. I like it. Baseball! I like having a baseball. Okay. And so those are the snacks that I have. Do I lose the other snacks? Because I have five snacks. Oh, maybe I lose the snacks of the Pokemon that I've caught? Did I catch Latios then? Did I not catch Latios? Wait, let me check the boxes. The Skyrim is not here. Uh, 
L for Lati. Latias. Did I catch a Latias? I did. Where did I find Latias? I do not remember. What did I catch it in? Brick Ball. South Province Area 4. Oh, wait, that was on that beach. Yeah, I remember now. Did it catch Latias? So I do only have this. Yeah, this at least doesn't clog up the stuff that way. So I know where Articuno is. I used the item. I can't use it. Okay, so let's catch a few more legendaries. Articuno was around here because I now have Fall Swipe and Spore, which would be a lot more helpful in catching Pokemon. I like these ball. Wonder if these shine if these Pokemon can be shiny, these ordinaries. Articuno's right here at this waterfall. Right. I remember Articuno being here. Articuno here. Maybe above the wall. I for sure have seen Articuno here. I don't remember the exact hint, but it was around here that I found Articuno and it was easy. Maybe Articuno only spawns during a blizzard. That could be a thing. It's not snowing. Oh no, Articuno was up here. I remember being up here before. It was weird seeing these Pokemon be way below level 60. I don't remember which side of the water it was on. It was right here. Alright, go. God, Articuno didn't even need to weaken it. Next up is Latios. It was there, so probably the quickest way was from uh, Chiyu Shrine. Catch another one. Not gonna go too well. I was able to get it very well. And they didn't use Lester Perch for some reason, so I do get it to 1 HP. <laughs> this does give you a safe switch in Amoongo, so this is actually a perfect timing.
I like a shadow effect or something like taking the light away effect that's behind the Pokemon. Very lost the purchase animation. Dust ball. This is going very quickly today. Three legendaries. Let's go. Okay, because I don't know yet what to do with this. Wait, what's going on? Okay, so I don't know really what to do with the extra berry yet. I caught a few legendaries. That is nice. Actually, we can take a look for where I remembered Moltres might be. But I also don't remember. It was either Asada Desert or I thought one other place. But maybe it's just somewhere completely different anyway. Um... Still not a sandstorm. So we'll do the mystery gift story worth whatever comes up with it. Whenever it comes up. Maybe do another legendary or two from Lynch the Lunchman. Uh, invite all the teachers that I can. So tutoring Team Star is the next big thing. I'll keep trying to figure out how to evolve Diplin. But only after I've evolved uh, War Portal. And then if someone becomes available in chat to trade with me. for some of the trade evolutions, then we'll do that. Oh, Moltres is here! I must have not looked properly, because I've definitely looked here before. Okay, I'm Moltres. I've been up here, maybe I was just flying too high and I didn't see it? Okay, I didn't heal, so that doesn't help. It makes it harder to weaken it. Maybe I can just flash cannon. It will resist the move and it'll be safer. Just under half? Ooh, that's a cool animation for over there. Hopefully this will be just under half as well. And then we can just spore it when it takes out our Caledon. Otherwise we'll go heal and try Meltus later. This is very good damage. And special defense up only in the second one this time. We'll just wait for Moltres to take out our Caledon before we switch. Oh, I might cry, that's so sad. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. voices. I downloaded the the mythical Petra Berry, but nothing yet happened. I don't know how to trigger whatever it does. Don't tell me. I'll probably figure it out at some point, and otherwise I'll ask. And I found the Moltres that I, even though I flew over here last time and I didn't find it, I found the Moltres. I found Kyurem immediately. I super quickly caught both Articuno and Latios. One of them leaves me the quick ball. So the legendary capturing is going very well. I think my next stop is the school.
Let's tutor Team Star. Also, voices, if you are available for a few trades for my Pokedex for Trade Evolutions, then please let me know, because I'd like to do that. I can do them now, as go so late on the hour. Okay. Let's do it. Let's figure out which ones I need. I'll make a note of it in chat. And then where they even are in the boxes. they have the items. I think that's all for this. Yeah, because I have 199 scene. Dustin is the only one that I'm missing. There is a high drop for and just the starters at the end. And it's bound to be Terrakion or Cabalion here. And then if we walk and work on iron moves at the end as if they're mythicals. Like the, the, the leaders of their group. So we can make sense for Rizion, meh, I guess. That's the five. <clears throat> Let's find a Pokemon in my box that I can even trade for them, give them the right items. Holly. Oh, no, actually, it's probably World that we need to find. Very first box. Regular, Conqueror's regular, Dust Noir is ripped off. Although that is from Kid Kali, though, so it might be here. Yeah. I right hear that's Lux. Came in in blue bars, so that's in a different box, probably. I have a Porygon Z, so we don't need. Um, I didn't need to trade for Porygon Z. Let me grab the Violet Paradox Mons and can touch trade them to complete decks. That would be appreciated. Eventually, I do want to just have them, but just to, for the completion of the decks, that would be cool. Yeah. Well, I get to see them for the first time then. Fancy. Okay, so. You get. I think upgrade the first dubious disc is second. Yeah. Upgrade. Okay, so then I would trade over my Pokemon. Let's say I'll do Polyworld first, as an order of what I put them in the chat, and then you just straight up trade them back. And then, like, you trade back my Polyshell while I send my Graveler, you trade back the Golem while I send the Girder, etc, etc. And then... I have a Dust Clops with the Reaper Cloth. So... I, I don't mind just doing the, the trade back and forth. And then at the end, we'll do the... Like, the first Pokemon you send me would be one of the... The, the Violet Legendary, so the, the um, 
the Conqueror or the, the future Conqueror, the Conqueror, future Therakion and future Cabalion. And then at the end I would send it back, and then you'd send me the other one, and then uh, deck's complete for the most part. At that point, the only Pokemon I still need is Hydrapple. Because I haven't figured out how to evolve it yet. I don't want to look it up, because that's too easy. As long as it's not something super complicated, like Galarian Yamask, or something that is really luck-based like Galarian Farfetch, then I hope to be able to find it myself, but I haven't figured it out yet. Well, I, I taught a Dragon Cheer. I don't remember if it le I leveled it up since. But I caught a... It, it's not on the team right now because I caught a Squirtle and I'm leveling it up. Yeah, I did the surprise trade already. We got another um, Shiny from the, the hacking website. A Rhyperior. So I put up a new one and I was going to open it later. Look at the description of the... Listen, you got a mythical patchy berry, woo! And now what? I don't know. Let's do link code um, 1254 All the rematches in Paldea. Define rematches. Like, Academy Ace Tournament. I've done the Academy Ace Tournament before I fully completed Blueberry. But after, I think I did Kitakami and they were higher levels. Potentially, they have slightly different teams now that I've been able to face some of them in uh, Blueberry. But I haven't unlocked all the, all the people yet that I can get in the Blueberry, like the people you can call in. So I assume Nimona can be called in. Gita makes a lot of sense. I really hope I can finally rematch the dang E4 members. Pop. Well, Larry is already a gym leader, and he mixes his teams. Hassel is there. So, Poppy, Rika. I want to get those. And then, Nimona, Gita. Penny, Arvin? I have six spots left, so that could be a thing. Let's see what they look like. That is one thin looking... No, the other one. Steel Psychic. Okay, so this part Psychic. That makes it Tachyon Cutter. I like the sound of that. Wasn't it? Didn't, um... What's it? Ferizion have like side blade something? But that's a psychic move. It took it didn't have a new grass move, or was it? It just sounded psychic, but it was a grass move. I don't remember. They're gonna steal. The little check mark stays up top because of the surprise trade. I'm gonna keep it there intentionally. Yay, new Pokemon for the decks. Iron Crown. It resembles a mysterious object introduced in a paranormal magazine as a cutting-edge weapon shaped like a Cabalion. I should really just look at all the art in the Pokedex at some point. Alright, next up. Graveler. I'm happy I can stream on Monday again, yay. Happy to be back on my normal schedule. Hopefully my I'll be able to um my, my work will be scheduled on Tuesdays. Tuesdays, Thursdays optimally. Friday's fine. But that way I can keep my stream schedule going. And my boss, like my manager does support that. It's, it's not gonna always be possible. Schedule me around my streaming schedule, 
But it is really appreciated that she does look at that. Polytoad, the frog Pokemon. If Poliwag and Poliwhirl hear its echoing cry, they respond by gathering from far and wide. Regular golems. Pretty sure I already have a lowland golem. I just need regular golem. They count separately for the decks because they're both in different dexes. The only decks, apparently, th this is an interesting fact the only Pokedex that has both a Pokemon's regional form and regular form is the Coastal Pokedex. No, it isn't, it's not just the Coastal Pokedex. It's just the Pokedex and Blueberry. Because it has Executor and a Lowland Executor. A Lowland Executor appears in the coastal areas, and regular one you can find, I think, in Savannah. But it's in the same Pokedex. They don't split Pokedexes. Yay, got a Golem. Where the hot Dusky Dusky? Here's Dusky. That evolution sequence must go quickly if you're able to send the Pokemon back that soon. Hi, Pizza Boy. -a. That's a Conkelder, that's a clown with a lot of strength. It seems pretty quick. Polito didn't want to learn bounce, but I will leave you to the side moves. Yeah, just cancel all of them. Because I'm just doing it for the deck, so just cancel. If you teach it, then yeah, whatever. Because I can always reteach it. But for pretty much everything that I've evolved for the decks that I had no... And for most of them, it's I have no intention of using them. I just cancel everything. So pretty, there are certain Pokemon that I caught in Kitakami really early on that are still stuck with... I don't know, struggle bug, growl, supersonic, sweet zen, or something. Uh, let's see, Porygon I think was much later. Somewhere here, yeah. And then for the next one, because this this Porygon's the last one that I need to trade to you. Why don't you, for the next trade, trade me the Terrakion? I'll trade you back the Valion. And then we can do the final trade of the Terrakion for Porygon 2. Because I don't need Porygon Z. Because if, if we were to trade the Porygon 2 now for Cavalion, then we still need to do two trades to do Terrakion back and forth. So if you do Terrakia now, the series is a trade. Iron Crown? It was Iron Leaves. That's the last one. Iron Boulder? What? No, the Terrakia doesn't look good. I don't like this Terrakia. Like, it's a robot-y, future -y version that a lot of Pokemon have. Like, your Iron Bundle and your Iron Hands and... Like, it works for the design philosophy of that, and I like the, the orange is nice to add some color, but I don't like it. Might be cleave. I'll have to look into what that does. Mighty cleave, 95. 100 inflicts damage, bypasses protect, and boosted by sharpness. Does Iron Boulder get that? No, because it gets Quark Drive, but. Okay, Mighty Cleave, and it was. I forgot the move from, from Cabal the Cavalion one. I must remember to put Boulder back at home after this. Okay.
Plus Iron Boulder, Iron Crown. Interesting name. Oh, I have Tachyon Cutter. What does that do? 50 and then full accuracy. Hits twice. Also boosted by sharpness. So it's basically 100 power always hit. Not bad. And then Iron Leaves, because I don't remember what that one does. I'll get out of the trade section first so you can uh you can put your stuff in home. Thank you for the trades. That is the completion of the Kitakami decks. You know, thank you to the special diplomat recognition of this magnificent achievement. Come find me at the tall grass on Reveler's Road when you have some time. Let's do that. Boomba. Let's go to the tall grass on Reveler's Road. I think it's Jock still that does that, right? Yeah, it is Reveler's Road. Let's go see Jack. If he's still hanging out here. Let's see, Iron Leaves. And... Side Blade. Which is Psychic, it's not a Grass one, because it had Leaf Blade. And it is all like a sword move, but I guess... Leaf Blade already existed, so it didn't make as much sense, and it didn't want to go with just Psycho Cut. Side Blade inflicts damage. If there is electric terrain on the field, base power is increased to 120. Whether or not the user is grounded doesn't matter. Boost up a sharpness again because it's a blade move. Okay, so if electric terrain, terrain is active, it becomes stronger. Okay, remember to put uh, Boulder back at home. Not sure if you wanted to do it with Crown too. But thank you for the trades, I appreciate it. So it should be just Hydrapple then. Hydrapple and some of the starters. And those should be relatively easy to find. Well, they're, they're, they're a bit rare, but I can look up which area to catch them in. So let's see, that's Grookey, Fennekin, Snivy, Mudkip, Trico. And then accidentally devolved into Blastos. So that's six Evo lines plus Hydro. You were somewhere here. No, was, he said. Yeah. Hi. You got reward? I think it's Shiny Charm for the original. What do I get here? Sounds like a higher shiny chance. Maybe it's never a terror search or even terror raid battles. Ah. Oh. I already have enough, but I guess thanks. It'll help with the, when the Blissey comes back. Rotom phone. Thanks to the diploma feature which your club will help with, we can celebrate your achievement in style, Amber. A special mention from the company to serve as Pokedex completion. Hey. You ogre pine. Sounds like fun. I guess we've done that. Blueberry decks. So let's just start with. 
Chico. Yeah, if you could point me in the general direction as to where they are, that would be appreciated. We'll just complete the decks today. Maybe except for Hydrapple. Which general area do I need to go for Trico? I would think it is... Somewhere. Do I have a hunt in the Torchlit Cavern? Ooh. Is it a Torchlit Cavern? For Trico? Okay. Oh, you went to Witch's Witch. I get Torchic makes more sense there. Torch Lit Cavern. Oh, I think I already healed my Pokemon at Kitakami, right? Make a spicy sandwich or some key back, electric type travel, it's rationalized to beat something, sure. Uh, the first entrance I remember was. Not that way. Something that way. While we catch some stuff. He needs diggy diggy. Okay, here. Sure, let's just get this man more back. Oh! Okay, let's kick the diglets out. Apparently there was a Diglett underneath the magma that I definitely touched first. Uh, Cleaver attack. I forgot I was still leading the Cleaver. I don't want to do too many quests because that takes time. But I do want to still increase my DP. So I'll do one occasionally. If I feel like it. And these battles do help me evolve. Such a sport total DG evolving to For Trico, I feel like Trico would be in Canyon. Like in a grassy area of Canyon. Some have been in areas where I wouldn't necessarily ex expect them, some made more sense. Color has a lot of water, so some of the water ones have been there. Chico is only one location, okay. Glasses model definitely different than what it was before. Hey, Deflin. That this one's tortured. Actually, no, I had the hat tortured. I need more kip and tree pad. Wait, I'm confused. Which one did I need? Yeah, hat tortured. It's Trico Mudkip. Mudkip? Hmm. No, I'm thinking of that place in Kitakami that doesn't make sense. Mudkip could be very much canyon in a water area. That would make a lot of sense for its typing. Those are the evolutions. Snivy, I don't see why Snivy would be in this cave. Fennekin would make the most sense. Probably Fennekin. Considering this is Torchlit Cavern. Also, there is a Torchlit Cavern and a Charged Stone... No, Torchlit Labyrinth, Charged Stone Cavern. There's a fire area and an electric area. I understand that the Paradox Mons were in Area Zero. But there is a fire area and an electric area right here. But I guess they wouldn't make as much sense for the violet ones. But I did make that connection thinking, oh, like, would they be here? Hello, person. Mudkip! 
Like, what's a tiny thing? It's a bucket. Yeah. I mean, ninja throw. Oh no, it is a high because I'm on Karada. Do 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 do. Ha! Water absorb. But I am actually gonna go to Cleavor now to weaken it. Do, 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 do. Spore's not gonna work against Trico. I need to remember, because grass types are immune to a spore and powder moves. Now. I like this theme. Dusk Ball. Got himself a mud kip. Alright, voices, where where do I hunt for the next one? Mudkip, the mudfish Pokemon. It has the power to crush large boulders into pieces. To rest, it buries itself in mud at the bottom of a river. Mudkip used to be my favorite Pokemon for a little while, early on in Gen 3. I think my favorite Pokemon switched from... Started with Butterfree, then became Flareon, then it was Blossom after the Blossom episode in the anime. Then it was Mudkip. I remember jumping from like a high springboard from um, a diving board. At a swimming pool in Germany or whatever, wherever at some point, I didn't really dare, but at, right at the end, I dared just enough, and I said for Mudkip when I jumped in. <laughs> I remember, I remember that pretty well. But I think then it switched back to Falava. I don't remember exactly when, but Falava has been my favorite for extremely long. Zero Aura has been the only one that I was like, hmm, maybe I change it. But so that, that's one of the reasons I'm really looking forward to using Zero Aura in. The Forever Lock. I don't remember what the lowest level is you can get a Zero Aura at, but I want it to be as low as level possible so I can use it sooner. Head to where you got the Fossil Mons. I think I remember where that is. Fossil Mons were in Canyon. That was, I think it was this section. Because we were here for Cleavor, and then I think the Fossil Mons were in here somewhere. I think this area is where the fossil ones were. Yeah, Crane Needles are back. Oh yeah, and I guess I got shield on here too, because um, I think we did Union's work a little bit. Open in the water, no. There is the Haxorus. I don't need to beat up the hacks for us. Uh, Gino. I barely saw that one. <laughs> I was like, th that seems a bit off. What's that? It's a Trico. Yeah, you, did that, some of these Pokemon are really hard to see. Pretty much the same colors across. At least they're, they're bigger than a Flabebe or a... Whatever a Skull Villains, a Capsicum. You cannot see a capsicum un unless you're already running into them. Chico, the wood gecko Pokemon. 
The small hooks and the soles of its feet latch onto walls and ceilings, so it will never fall even while hanging upside down. Was it Dragon Cheer? It was Dragon Cheer? They're playing Digivolve 2! Hydrapple! Dragon Cheer makes the most sense considering it's a blueberry move. It was Dragon. Okay, so it's level up with Dragon Cheer, but it only gets Dragon Cheer 5 TM. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Hydrapple, the Apple Hydra Pokemon. That makes it even harder for the Forever Lock. So you need to get to the TM of Dragon Cheer before you can even get Hydrapple, is that it? So, you need to go pretty far in Blueberry, get Dragon Cheer, already have your Hydrapple slotted, evolve it, and then have it, and then use it later. Because I assume that base game, let's say base game Viola, that doesn't have the DLC, does allow Hydrapple to be used in it, right? You don't need to have the DLC to use something like an Iron Boulder or Hydrapple. Yeah, but you can have a really low level one. Yeah. Well, like, EXP share... Applin, Diplin. Because I have... Well, let's see, which of the apples do I have slotted in the Forever Lock? I won't have Hydrapple yet, because I didn't know it existed. Uh, when I did my first run, or even I did Gen 8. And I don't think Diplin yet. Although maybe, no, because I haven't done the DLC of Gen 9 yet, so I won't have gotten two Diplin yet. But at least I did know Dip Diplin existed, so I might have slotted one for her. Let's see, which of the apples do I have? Apple were introduced in Gen 8. Mm. Where are the apples in the decks? No Applin, no Flapple. I do have Appleton slotted. Party already evolved into that. I think in, I think that was in Gen 8. And then yeah, I haven't even added the DLC months to the to this specific tracker. So no, I just have Appleton, that's it. You can use it, you can catch Applin around 12-ish and evolve with the Apple, and then evolve post game. Yeah. Because you can just buy the Diplin apple in Kitakami. The intention for me, probably, like, when I get around to Scarlet, which I'll do with both DLCs, that's the intention, is to first play a little bit of the base game, get, like, a badge or two, then do the early portion of Kitakami, catch some Pokemon there to have some interesting backup Pokemon, then do the entire regular game, but not quite beat the story yet. Like, don't be, don't go into Area Zero. But uh, that means I will have, let's say, level 55, 60-ish Pokemon on the team. Then do the entire Ogre Pond story. Catch as much as I can while they're still lower level. Because not only does that just lower the difficulty. It also means, because of lower level, in a future run, I can add them to the team earlier. Which I'm very much like. And then Blueberry, I believe, is always just going to be high levels. So then... And to access most of the stuff, I need to beat the main game and Kitakami. So I'll have beaten Kitakami at that point with the story. Hopefully caught a good amount of the Lolo 3 and Ogre Pond. Then I'll go back to regular game and actually do the finale. Then go Blueberry. And how do I do Blueberry? Well, I'm going to just EXP candy six things to level 100. Because in Gen 7, in Sword and Shield, and then Lead Zark is in BDSP combined. Uh, for each group of that, I have one level 100 Pokemon. Tapu Fini for Gen 7, uh, Eternatus for Sword Shield, and Beat Speed Legends Arky Shara Gallade for level 100 for post-game purposes. For, I feel like with how many battles you need to do in Blueberry, it makes sense to just put a bunch of things to level 100. However, I do have to remember the Dragon Elite 4 member requires you to be the three gym trainers or elite four trainers whatever with pokemon you only caught there so maybe i need to catch stuff there and then train those to level 100 i was just thinking let's just take the like the maridon take like a great tusk 
and whatever other paradoxes I've caught at that point, and then two other really good ones, make them level 100, and just beat the game with it, basically. I think the Lord of Three are locked to level 60-ish. He's saying they're like, the battle when you catch them, are they high level there? Like, I'll look into Bulbapedia details at that point, for a lot of it. Because I want to be ready for it, I want things unnecessarily die or wipe just because, oh no, okie dokie is suddenly way too high level. That is why I want to have not just completed all the stories of this DLC. Like on stream before I do Scarlet for the Feverlock. But I want to have done some off stream stuff too and figured out a lot. Like there's certain details maybe that I'll figure out during Feverlock, but I want to have found out pretty much everything either by myself in this file or through the stream. Only when you catch him, not during the story. Yeah, because you battle the first during the story in like the Titan-ish battle with Carmine, but later when you catch him. Okay, so my tip for the Forever Logs have two middle evos for post-game to you. Yeah, that makes sense, because you need the one axes anyway. Oh yeah, because... So it'd be... Because I... It was concerning Eternatus, but I want Eternatus to just... Not Eternatus, uh, Enamorus to go into Hall of Fame as soon as possible. So the, the moment... I've beaten, Tats I think Tatsugiri or Eri, one of the two. I think, no, Eri, I think, is the last um, main game Peldea um, level cap. Once I've beaten Eri, and then something dies, or perhaps during the fight with Eri or during her base, and it's UR, I replace it with Enamorus no matter what. Because Enamorus needs to go in the Hall of Fame as soon as possible. Let's see, I use Pilosan Middle Hotel. Yeah, because they exist here. But the... So, but the thing is, once I get to... I intend to only go into Blueberry with a post-game team. A post-game team would mean I already take stuff from not Blueberry. To... Add here. So what I could do... Which would make the finale, the regular finale for Area Zero really safe. Is take the uh, complete Ogre Pond story, complete Kitakami. Not have beaten, Tur um, it'll be Sada, because it'll be Scarlet. Not have beaten Sada yet. Take the regular main game team, level them up to very safe levels through EXP Candy, whatever. Do the initial part of Blueberry. Which is really just the fight against Plus or Minor and Excadrill for Lacey. Because the rest, after that, you just get access to the t Terrarium, I believe. Catch some things in the Terrarium. Because it has to be Terrarium caught, right? Or is it things in the in the Blueberry decks? Because if it's Terrarium caught, it might be troublesome. Because then I need to look at what's slotted and what isn't. But... If it's just Terrarium Pokemon, Pokemon in the Terrarium decks, then that'd be easier. I, yeah, because I remember I had a Hitmonlee from a raid and that didn't work, so it's probably Terrarium caught. Because Hitmonlee is in the decks. So yeah, I'd need to check what Pokemon can be slotted, like what, what I can just slot that is in each of the biomes. And then in something like Torchlight Labyrinth and stuff like that, is there enough that I can get before I beat the regular Peldea game, catch those, slot them as whatever Pokemon. That could just also just be my post-game team for Blueberry. You only need them for the trainers. It's pretty easy to get a battles. So I think most of them have two as well. Yeah, but at the same time, I, to have a safe battle against them, I do need... I do want a full team. And I don't want to have to have, let's say, my level 100 team of six Pokemon from regular Paldea. And then also have to level up a bunch of other Pokemon to level 80 that could be level 30. Whatever. Because I prefer to have the least amount of Pokemon at high levels as possible. Because that just makes me stuck with high level Pokemon at the end and have to do solo runs until the end. The less I can do that, the better. That's why I'm thinking about it so much. Alright, Fickle Beam. What is Fickle Beam? Did we see that before? The user shoots a beam of light to inflict damage. Some of the users had to shoot beams in unison. Sometimes. Is it a luck-based thing to maybe maybe do more damage? It is the same team for both Gen 8 and 9. Like for Forever Lock? For a post game? I guess you can... Ass ass assuming you look at it in such a way that you can plan it, like that they both exist in Gen 8 and 9, 
You can just keep swapping them over for through Pokemon Home. Okay, I, I want to see Fickle Beam. Let's fight this Smeargle. Behind a tree. First I want to see Syrup on. Because I don't remember. Oh, he's gonna struggle now. Zero bump. I used it as switch storage rather than Gen 8 or none. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't expect to do BDS3 much, and maybe... I don't need to do Limbs Arcus anymore, assuming I none of the Hisuian exclusive Evos die. Such as Hisuian Avalug or uh, Hisuian Decidueye and Anamoras. Then I don't need to play Ledge Arcus again. Maybe much later on I will, even if I don't have to. But I know I'm gonna do at least one more shiny call. The Sal and Dialga came from Legends too. Yeah, I didn't go for them in the end. Pickle Beam. So is this a slightly weaker Dragon Pulse? But it could be stronger, maybe. Pranidos. Ow. I want to see all the heads do a thing. Pickle me. Yo! Big head attack! So you said you used Chrysalian and Dialga for post-game 8 and 9, which works, especially with the DLC having a lot of the legendaries, so that makes sense, I think. However, how did you manage the... those battles where you need the Terrarium Pokémon? I guess just for those three battles, temporarily swap the team, because it's required for progress. Like, that's allowed within the Forever Lost rules. High drop ball. Like, yep. Alright, voices, could you give me a hint as to where the next one might be hiding? So I need, let's see, Fanakin. And Grookey. It's Nagy. Fanakin, Grookey, and Snaggy. Got a new team, almost no select selection went from each location. Yeah. Like, you caught them as regulars anyway. Like, that, that would be allowed for the Forever Lock. I mean, do I come in? Head to the. Oh, yeah, you said, you said that something. You said that a while ago. Head to the beach between Savannah and just inside Coastal. So that would be here. Which one will make the most sense? I need a Fennekin, Snivy, Grookey. I feel like Grookey would be in Coastal, but on the grass. Fennekin enjoying the beach? It's not too close to the water. I got some of the trade evolution Pokemon, like McMortar, Rapierior, and then I think Porygon Z as well, just by a Terror Raid. Which helped. This is probably just rare spawns I'd have to wait for. An Esper? So tiny Pokemon. How about you in the beach and the grassy area too? Okay. Like where the beach goes into the grassy area, that section?
I am going to take a quick break because I need to use the toilet. So I'll be back in a second. I found Uki right outside my room. Uki's been there for a few hours, like right around the door. Like right behind the door, in the corner, on the carpet. Just chilling, sort of sleeping. I walked downstairs, go to the toilet. Uki did nothing. As I was walking upstairs in the still mostly darkness in the hallway, Uki started moving and Uki has like a lot of darker skin at the top. So I saw slight white patches suddenly moving right past where I was walking on the stairs. And the stairs are steep. So I get spooked. Alright. Uh, we were gonna try and find Fanakin. Or Grookey. Something else. Or Grassy. Oh, oh well, Pokemon that's swimming, we can do that one. I didn't see that thank you pack. That's Poplio, but I already have Poplio. Hi Poplio, bye Poplio. Grookey! Grookey came to help Poplio, friend. I love Grookey. I'm happy it just Grookey as my starter when I first played on it. I caught my shiny on this beach of the one you were looking for. Grookey? You got a shiny Grookey? Grookey, the chimp Pokemon. The sleek Grookey holds has grown harder and more flexible after soaking in the energy that emanates from Grookey's body. Alright, so that's Snivy and Fennekin left, I think? Go into the savannah area and go towards the wall. This is just not riding Karidon as they are hard to see. Understood. Into savannah. Go toward wall. This isn't like go toward wall, like toward middle. Like I'm already at wall. The outside wall. Huh? They're hard to spot, and it's probably kind of just. I like that they didn't just shove all the Firemons in the Orchlet Labyrinth. What's that? Oh, it's left it. I don't want left it. Most around that sort of creek-like area. Here? Or like here? Oops, I'll just go to the outside wall and then head to that. On the outside wall. I'll keep up. Oh, that's 
sand dial. That's a Relor. That's another Relor. It's rough flip, more for a giraffe. That's all. That's a regular Zegitor. What's behind you? That's a Crocky Rocky Rocky Rocky. So you're saying it's more like around this area? I keep seeing the orange of a giraffe. Thinking, Ooh, Fennekin. But Fennekin is not that big. Also, it doesn't look like a giraffe. the grassy bits around it. Okay. Right. Ninja throw. Man. I often got Fennekin after this. This is my first shiny star in the game. Cool. After we catch this one and then Fennekin, we just have to evolve them for the ducks, and then we're done. And we'll just do that by catching legendaries and fighting some other people that are important. Finding Fennekin is even more frustrating. Oh, that sounds like fun. this with me. I do that spore and spore doesn't work for grass type so gotta throw balls. Also it would have been better this turn than the last but apparently it's enough. We got him. We got Snivy. Superior with Terra Blast contrary. Yeah that could be a fun one I guess. I should be really looking at artworks sometimes soon. I'm actually just gonna <clears throat> initiate this battle. I'll only do that. And so I did the high grapple thing. I did the, this. Uh, enjoy arcs on the. No, yeah, enjoy Pokemon. Let's do that. Then again, we're located in the southwest corner of Savannah. We can go on the whole east side. The southwest would be like this corner, around where the Crispin Battle was. And the east side is where I am now. We can go on the whole east side. Northwest, even so, around this, like where this deerling was born. And then down the whole west side. Got it. I'll just save it. I think it probably saved automatically, but I'll save to be sure.
Where is this? Oh, this is going north. Uh -huh. Probably it doesn't spawn as much in the room. Considering it's a fire type. I've been in here. Probably. I was too late. Now, I don't mind battling the full evolutions, because they get pretty good XP and I want to evolve my Pokemon in. I haven't seen this little area before either on the hill. This little area before before either on the hill or towards just the hill. Yeah. I was gonna go along the wall, keep looking around, go left and right a bit. Quite random and rare. I am not surprised, considering it's a starter Pokemon. We're about to finish Kid Common solo. Yay. That reminds me, Saika and I haven't gone back to our Soul Link yet. We took a few months break just because my personal life didn't allow it. Because I had a lot of shit going on. Who's this? Rowlet! That's not the one I'm looking for. Sucker punch! Now! Excellent. I love Owly. Owly was my starter in Gen 7, because I love Owly. I'm looking for a Gen 6 starter. Woo. What's that? Another Owly. Oh, why did you turn? Oh, it counted as sneak? Let's go. And then we terrestrialize for the other thing. And maybe it's enough XP. I heard a Rowlet! Japanese. Stone Act is Ganseki Aksu. Ganseki is probably rock thing on Aksu. This axe.
that's a lit you know, that's it. I'll take the chance because it gives a lot of XP for the evolution. I could totally just use rare candies, but this is more fun for me. Mudcap did evolve to the Pokemon that is probably going to be my starter in my next forever lock around in Emerald Marshall. So it's a Squawkabilly Cloth, Mamoswine, Glamora, Aracuda, and Flora. Okay. Marshall the Mudfish Pokemon. Living on muddy ground that provides poor footing has served to train its lower body and caused it to develop sturdy legs. It's sleeping! Marsha, were you sleeping? You were sleeping, weren't you? Got a blueberry reward. Camel bonds. Yeah, Swampert, Fennekin, and then evolving Fennekin, Trico. And the other two. Snivy and Grookey. The Geodude came over! What was that? Oh, was, was that Lutlio or Fennekin? I think it's that little Lutlio is right. You saw how that Geodude floated into Savannah? <laughs> it's not supposed to be here. Oh, that's a trap in Look there, do you happen to have a uh, seen a Fennekin? It's a fox. And when it gets dark, it's gonna be even harder to see, probably. Anyone seen a fox? One fox Pokemon, please. Anyone for Fox? What's in here? That's a Magmar. I haven't been in here yet, so I have to beat the Magmar. That is a rule. All these Terra Pokemon have to be beaten at least once. Electric. Thunder Punch. Hi, Bente. Nice to see you. X Scissor. Let's go. Don't flame body me. Don't do it. Unzucky Oxa. Ah, now you're flame body me. Boo. Type yet. Helps the burn heroes right at the start. And somehow it's daytime again? I'll take it. Where's Fennekin? That's still more Litlio. Would there not be a Fennekin that's hanging out with Litlio? Oh, I know it's dark. So rude! Gun Sekiyaksu. Get out. I'd like to use Ogre Pun at the start, or like Fist of Fate, but if I use Fist of Fate, then you get the sun animation every time. It's also necessary time. I'm trying to speed run, but it could get annoying if I have a lot of fights before finding Fennekin. And if I find Fennekin, I just want to go straight into the battle. And Cleaver has false side. I'll throw the quick ball and then I'll try to false side after if the quick ball is in and out. Oh, 
craft range. Bad looking. Bad looking. It's a deerling and a lip leo and more trap inch. It's not a fox. That's my fox. Is this? No, that's more alley. I found Owly across this entire section. But not Fox. I found Owly, not Foxy. Is that another Owly? Yeah, that's another Owly. Find it soon then. I hope I'll find it soon. It will be good because that's the final Pokemon I need for the Pokedex. I still need to evolve a few, but that's the final new one I need to catch. It's another Owly! So many Owlies. Where's Fannikin? Foxy, that's another Owly. Owlies are like, yo, I'm a cool starter, catch me, catch me. Oh, this is Crispin's thing. A Magby. Fannikin. Foxy. That's Foxy. Found damn fox, hey. You weren't kidding this frustrating. Still haven't found it.
No, they're just another owly. It's Fennekin. And so many... Browlet. Yeah, you're not kidding. Oh, Rowlet's definitely not rare. Rowlet's everywhere. Oh, look, it's another Rowlet. Oh, that- I completely forgot the fire sandwich, yeah. I could absolutely make a fire sandwich. I don't remember if I- which one makes the fire sandwich, but let's- let's just look through all of them. Also, I finally got a Sour Herba Mystica. Because of Mr. Saguaro, when I beat him. I've not had a sour one before. This one counter power fire. Looking for something that says fire. Encounter power fire! Very simple pickle fa sandwich. Look at Serbi, there's an event on the moment to get some herba. Beautiful. Oh, they're superior in 7 star raids, there would another, be another way to get it. Right, where's the herbal one? I don't see anything about Herba Mystica. I haven't looked everywhere yet. Maybe we're looking in the wrong spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's sour, but it's good! Pickle sandwich. How many Lit Leo and things are we gonna find now? Lit Leo and Pyroar, and then where's Fanny? I often, f I often forget that sandwiches are even a thing for encounter power and stuff. The only time I've regularly used sandwiches was when I. EV trained my first two teams. Because then I used encounter power for, let's say, for special attack. I think I went for. Uh. Bottom of Gotharita. Around where the psychic gym is. Hello, person. Have I fought you before? If I have, I'll leave you. I have, okay, bye bye. Mag bar, mag B, that's a lip meal, that's not a fox. Not 
Some Rhyhorn Racer. Some Magby. This is the Lion King Rock. Maybe that's why there was a Pyro up there. Another Magby. It makes a lot of sense, I guess, to have a line from uh... Oh, Anakin, Pokedex, for the Pokedex. Wasn't it? Didn't the? Wasn't there a Delphox event recently? Or was that? Uh, no, it was Incineroar recently. In the Terror Raid. But I guess to properly have a chance at that, I'd need to train up a Pokemon first, and finding Anakin is probably still possible. That is how I got Decidueye, though. Fennekin! Hello! Fennekin. That's a Charmander, that's not a Fennekin. I'm pretty far out of the way from that side. Probably been here before. Have I fought you? No! In that case, I'm fighting you because I want to fight all the trainers. Gotta find a Fannikin. Midwest. Okay, that's the area one I'm gonna be. That's where I'm just gonna go. I cook it up. That's right, man. Okay, so what according to this map is considered the worst? This actually. Basically, this bit. That's where I need to be. That's supposedly the only place where it spawns. I've, I've looked it up in Bobopedia. 
that might still not be fully accurate because wild area and such spawns are so many factors that can come into it. That's the only place that I saw the fence. Specific. Okay. It's in the prairie part of it. So not the bamboo forest, not the rocky area. The prairie part. So that's the southern end of this. More there. Vanakin! Found it! Ninja throw! Final capture for the decks? Not yet. Final capture for the decks needs to be in a beast ball. So it had better actually go in the beast ball. We both wasted a ton. Go Among Us! Baseball. Dang it. That was my only baseball. That's a crit cap. Got it. Pokedex semi complete. Bandicin the Fox Pokemon. This Pokemon gets worked up easily. Its body can also overheat, so it uses its ears to dissipate the heat and calm down. This should be good. Is it seven Pokemon missing? It's from the start with the starters. We've got all of these. Trico's Evolutions. Swampert, Snivy's Evolutions, Fennigan's Evolutions, Evolutions. So there's 9. Yeah, so, so we get to 240. That seems like a nice number. But then, Black and Wicked Iron, they still exist. Also, why is Tropic a different thing? I can treat in terms of. Mr. Lunchman? I was gonna go there next anyway to do some legendary hunting. Catch some more. Probably a few more. One more secret. Yeah, the, that might be. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm working on it. I'm Mr. Snackman. Special snack. Spectrier! You get Spectre and Glastrier here as well? Can we get color? Okay, l let's guess where Spectrier shows up. It likes carrots. And it's near- where, where's the cemetery? Where's the cemetery in Paldea? 
There's not really a cemetery near the ghost town, is it? Maybe outside of Medali where there's a bunch of houndstone? Or Grievar? I can go on Paldeus Peaks. For a bit of fun, mountain climbing being a bit of a hobby. I was taking my sweet time meandering up some mountain paths dotted sparsely with trees. Oh, ruins on the path covered in vines. Okay, so climbing up Paldeus Peaks. Path sparsely with trees. So would the peaks be like here? Or would they be here? Actually, no, there's trees on the mountain. Would it be these ones? We didn't mention snow or cold at any point. But like Paldea's highest peak is near there. There are sparsely any trees. Like, there's barely any. And there are ruins there. It's very catch spirit. Like, there's the very occasional tree. Not really a path, though. But there are ruins. So, I'll take a look. Spectre, or is, it, is this where you're hanging out? Spirit Tomb is here, there's hip now. Now I see Spectre. Yeah, the path doesn't really work. I was thinking more of a regular mountain path. That would make a bit more sense. The path with ruins. So there's ruins somewhere here. Uh, there? That's a bit... Let's do these ones. There's quite a, quite a lot of mountains here. Quite a few trees, though. Isn't that the thing I was thinking of? Why is it raining so heavily? Like that I can fly, it just makes this quicker and easier. So convenient. We only get this FGB blueberry, so no way I'm gonna ever do this in the forever lock. Uh, Spectre, are you in here? Nope, but this is Gimme Ghoul. Now it's back. There's too many, too much pass. Mountain path, barely any trees. It could still be that it's one of the paths up the snowy mountain. Like there's a bunch of things here around Monte Nefira, around Glaciado, like the Glaciado Gym. There's not real any ruins there though. Like, that's not the only hills that Paldea has, though. Like, it could be around here. Ooh, here! That's not a lot of trees. That's Alfernada. And that's up hills. This is where I did my special attack EV training on the grass over there. The bunch of Galarita. I think the psychic sandwich I could buy, just buy in uh, Mesagoza. It's a mountain path, not that many trees. Ruins. Oh, this could be. Description fits. 
curls around. But no ghost horse. Try to find Ghost Horse, and then we're gonna go to do the Team Star stuff. We haven't actually done been done yet. Right? I don't see Spectre here. Huh? Every time I think I see Spectre's color, that's just the shadow of a wall. Yeah, I don't see it. Many hills that could work. Let me double check the blueberry missing decks and either before the start just to see if there's a gap. I understood. From the back, we got uh, two gaps here, so that's Grookey's Evolutions. This is all starters, all starters, all starters. Because they connect together, makes a lot of sense. And then it's Bulbasaur into Hydrapple. Going left before Bulbasaur. Nope. Nothing before the starters. This is Grookey's evolutions. These numbers fit just Fennekin's evolutions. This fits just Snivy. Swampert. Trico's evolutions. Yeah, that should be it. There is a gap before 160. Well, that's a bomb of snow and snow over. Eight and nine puts it at 240. And then walk away. I mean, these don't count or something, but they're here. That's weird. Huh. Look at Marsh numbers just sleeping. These Pokemon stop harassing me. I was just looking at my Pokedex. What's a mountain path? With a few trees. This is not a mountain path, this is just desert, so don't consider it there. There's ruins here, it's not really a mountain path. Did we miss it? I'll try this one and then I'll go, uh, I'll go to school. This works. Last year could absolutely be here too. This seems very much like a place like Glastro. I'm gonna remember this one for Glastro. I don't see a ghost stars. Right, let's go to school. Oh, 
Got to tutor some uh, two star members. See the others. What's up, gang? Setting heart. Yeah, our tiger doesn't look much different. It's a bit weird to get used to Atticus in a school clause. But well, we were before you and your big mouth shut up. Ah, uh, Lady Hurry Cloud and our Academy uniform. Well, no, uh, Professor Ember's gonna be your tutor. What? No, not happening. You can't decide that. Alright, I'll start with Atticus and let's see how things work out. Ember kindly agreed to come here and help us out. So talking to her with that kind of attitude is unacceptable, right? Mm, to no, totally. Uh, sorry, Harry. Sorry, who? Um, I remember. Sorry, Ember. Ah, oh, Lady Harry in a menacing mood. What a vision of unusual rarity. Hey, don't worry about our attacker. He just doesn't want you to see him climbing. We seem to have lost Melly. Where'd she go? Lady Mello declared her wish to stretch her legs minutes before your arrival. She departed rather suddenly and has not returned since. Well, we all know Mello, she just wandered off because she doesn't feel like studying. I hate to say it, but I guess that's probably true. Sorry about this, Ember. You think you could find Mello for us? Should be somewhere in the academy for sure. We'll stay and stand by here and get everything prepped for a killer study sesh. Gonna look a bit different, but not much different. I miss Rust Al. She's gonna stretch her legs, it's gonna be in the schoolyard, it literally has the exclamation mark. Okay. That's neck, yeah, that was probably what makes the most sense for stretching legs. over there. Is that you? Yeah, the hair color works. I'm Ella. Bit unusual.
That looks cute. I can't rate your base. <laughs> no, actually, I can't help study. That uh, classroom's the other way. I guess it could be this one. Too. I don't actually know the layout of the school well. Sup, amigos. slow version of what easily one of my favorite games from Gen 9. I love their battle and they just made it a slow version for the regular game. It would help if I opened the buttons before I put this on. I sure I haven't worn it in a very long time, in many years. I'm trying it on to see if it fits. If it doesn't, then well, I guess we'll find out on stream. You wanna put it on now? Because it's getting a little chilly and I just have my tank top. Slightly tight, but it works. Mm. Yeah, I probably wouldn't wear this to work. Even though I do have a work shirt, it's a bit little, a little tighter than I'd like. I'll probably donate this after point once. Okay, today we're gonna talk about oranges. The protagonist in this book is the Mom in a Mousehole family. Her name is Mama Mousehole. We're supposed to analyze why she calls Papa Mousehole terrible in this passage. Mama Mousehole's eyes glittered with tears. It was clear from the letter Papa Mousehole had left. She would never get to see him again. Toying with my feelings right to the end. They broke up! Letter Papa said it's terrible, so she actually loves him. No, he calls her terrible in the letter. Okay, now it doesn't make sense to me anymore. A tale of three spider ups whose brotherly bonds are even more tangled than the webs they weave. Okay, let's go, Bill. Are you sleeping? Okay, let's go, Atticus. What I know is that I know not. I have fathomed the depths of mine own ignorance. Ah, noble sensei, comes thou to prefer me a helping hand. My deepest thanks. Mathematics is the scourge of my existence. In particular, arithmetic is an unsolvable mystery. But as my true calling lies in garment design, I, I feel I need not concern myself with numbers. They have not to do with fashion, after all. Oh, you only 
numbers actually. Sizings? And why it's so easy? Hmm. Skill in mathematics will still be of service to me, so I don't quite follow. I think I know what Ember's getting at. It's like with the two star offices, remember? We ended up spending a lot of money on them. As indeed we should, one must not shy from expense in creating objects of great quality. We had reams of fabric left over at the outfits we made. Don't you think we could have saved more money there? I kind of deny it, to a fair point. Now that I think of it, the garment dimensions are the custom materials demand calculation. And if selling one's creations, profit margins too come into play. A design who pays heed to such figures and sums would surely prove superior artisan. It seemed my thinking was naive. I had turned mine eyes from the inconvenient truth. But besides it, my heart has changed and my mind made up. From now on, I will devote myself to the study of mathematics. Hiya! Sorry, I kinda butted in your two rangers now, Ember. I'm glad it all worked out though. Thanks to you, Attica seems really inspired to study. He's the type to get solely absorbed once he's fired up, so I'm sure he'll be just fine. Yay! Go maths! Bella. This is hard. Bella's really cool and she's definitely would be like on my squad if I would get a team together. Like our coach would be um, Kabu, the Galar fire gym leader. I like fire types. I would add Mela to the squad. She's really cool, which is really cute. I like Mela. Some practice questions. Let me know if you think this one's true or false. You can get new Pokemon only by catching them yourself or trading them with other trainers. No. You yeah, hatch Max, gifted. What's the name of the gemstone that glows over Pokemon's head when it terrestrializes? The Terra Jewel. Terrasizing is out. Only outstanding students get to have a Terra Orb for themselves, though. But Nimona got me one. Before I even started at school, really. This has Zilsa to a test, but I just want to ask you something. I don't know how you put it, though. It's a tricky one. You got a problem with me, that's a lot. How important do you think dreams are? I really want to know what she says when I say ha 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 ha. Sounds like future goals. Talk about the future. We want to be more older, that kind of stuff. I have no idea about all that right now. You know, most new stars seem like they've got to figure it out. They've got proper dreams. Even the veggies in a schoolyard are doing their best to grow, you know? I wish I had their kind of direction. I mean, what'll happen if I never figure it out? What if I never find a dream to chase? Honestly, I got scared just thinking about it. I really want to help her now. Hey, you have your art, don't you? I didn't know I joined the art club. Well, whatever, that's just a hobby anyway. Wait, how did I know? I... Wait. How did I know that? Maybe it was mentioned, like, when I started the DLC. Was it mentioned in the story? Or someone? Now I think about it, Mr. Dragon Brothers is this art for his job. He always looks like he's having a great time at school. It's like he's not working at all. If I could do something like that, if I could pay for a living, that'd be crazy fun. Do you think that could be it? Is it really okay to call that my dream? Yeah? If you believe that that's great fun, then absolutely. Know this, sped through my practice questions like a champ. Because Amber wasn't the world's worst student. Well, I learned that even arithmetic can be enthralling when engaged with it in earnest. Thanks to our esteemed tutor, I've been in life and there's a river room drenched in poison. I feel like someone's just defog on me, man. I've seen everything so clearly, the knowledge is just pouring itself into my brain. Well, that's probably never on. Well done. It sounds like this is our best session yet. Must have been thanks to your expert tutoring. It was really kind of you to help us out. We prepared a little thank you gift from all of us, so here you go. Thank you for the gold bottle cap. 
Modified uniform A, modified uniform B, Team Star Sunglass, Team Star Glass, Team Star Heels, Team Star Helmet, Team Star Case. Yay. Bye -bye. And bust it. I was just walking down the hall and saw you all in here. That's fine, no one asked me to join, so I should just leave, shouldn't I? Sorry about that, see you later. Lady Penny, wait! What do you think, Penny? Hear us out. What happened was... Oh, I think you'll decide not to talk to me anymore. You would never. That's what it must have looked like, though. Sorry you made you worry. You just didn't want to drag you into another one of our messes. Our bad, Penny. Well, apology not accepted. Wait, for real? Why do you guys get to decide that I'd just be weighed down by your problems? I'm your friend, right? So you should come bother me more. Lean on me, that's what would actually make me happy. Oh, Lady Penny. And if things get really bad, I can just hack into the school system and fix your grades anyway. What? That's a terrible idea. Yeah, isn't that taking it a bit far? Oh, sorry, that one was a joke. I was trying to lighten things up in here, but I guess it was pretty out of character. Glad to hear it. If you were serious, I would have had to pummel some sense into you. About before, I'm actually a pretty good tutor, you know? So feel free to ask me for help with studying and stuff anytime. Lady Penny, we are honored by thy generosity. Uh, does that mean we gotta get lectured by Ember and Penny now? Well, I guess there are worse things. Uh, careful, my man. That was dangerously close to a straight-up compliment. You just come right out and say you like the idea. We all know you're thinking it. Indeed. I did not even use my ninja senses, so childishly apparent are thy true feelings. What? As if you know what's in my head. You guys haven't got the first clue about me. Try to consider me better for spreading nonsense. You're all the worst! Hey guys, I, I think we broke Ortega. <laughs> That's good. Back upstairs, right outside my room. Fully asleep. So maybe Uki went downstairs earlier and just got some food and got back upstairs because it's close to me and that makes Uki feel comfortable or something like that. And Uki's not nicely asleep. Was that all the study session? Was that all the two star? Okay, let's see what's next. Um, do some battles. Well, let's try a new outfit. We've had this outfit. Let's try the Team Star stuff. Oh, this is that kind of modified uniform. Nah. Do my track suit. Team Star heels. <laughs> No, I'll take my ghost thing, please. I'll take gloves. Meh. Just a helmet. Oh, that's a very good one, no. I like my beret. These are sunglasses. Mm, meh. I like that I have them, but I'm not gonna use them. Our case. No, I'll keep what I have. 
What's this book? There's a bunch of books you can read. What does this one do? Let's see what that surprise strength thought is. And then we'll go to the League Club room and see if we can invite some more people. Hall of Fame you heard earlier today in Pokemon Gold, in the Forever Lock. It was called Brownie. Oh, this one's called Sam. Hi, Sam. Hey, Sam, would you like to travel some more? Let's go travel some more, Sam. Let's think about where we can find Spectre. Some more. Mountainous areas with some ruins. Maybe it is here, but I don't think there's any trees here at all. It's certainly a high hill. I found a shiny mud bray up there once. Not even hunting for it, I just shut up. Eh! Knocked over my. Switched off. No, oh, I don't see a ghosty here either. Right here. Nothing was the other shine. Because that is the mountainous area that I would think. There's a lot of things you can climb. There are some trees. Maybe not that many considering the hills around. Actually, I'm gonna send Amoongus in first. Because I can't hit Spectre with False Ivy. see any ghosty. I don't know where Spectre is. That's another mountain path of ruins. This isn't really mountain path. That, that area. If you take the ruins out of the hint, it's just mountain path, barely trees. So glassy at a mountain and this and this it slopes. That's what I first think of. This is where you do this test for the FGM.
This reminds me of the Crown Tundra as well. Barely any trees, but there are trees. And here's the finish line. Could go further down here. No, not really. Down, in here's the down there is already caught a raccoon. This is on the way to Montenegro. Oh, All that ruined somewhere around Montenegro. Because Montenegro is the ghost place. And there are grave art here. So, Griever and especially Houndstone being here is something that makes sense for Spectre. Yeah. Yeah. But where is the ruins then? What is referred to as the ruins? This is just another slope you could go down in one of the tests I believe. No, wait, no, we've been, we've been to those ones. Hmm. I could go to all the ruins, but I don't think it makes a lot of sense. Although he was climbing before in the desert, in, in regards to Moltres, and, and right behind here, like, he could be climbing this section. I'd be surprised if this is it, but I guess you can climb near it. And he was climbing here during the Moltres hint. Just go to fly so I don't hit any wild Pokemon. See ya. I'll figure that out again later. What? Right, it's up in the league club room. See if we unlock anything. Let's do an item print. Like, let's do three sets. And figure out what to do. The voices, are you still here? I have a question. Are you, uh, you, just, you said you were going to do the... Uh, you, you were going to work on your cell one. I'm gonna two more upgrades for more Porygon to evolve, of course. Hmm, what do I do now? I said I have more legendary hints. Team Star thing was very quick. So there's the legendary hints, and then whatever the Petra Berry does. I don't know what it does.
The glass tree retreat. Hey. So where's glass tree? A base piece for a bit. Final climb being a bit of a hobby. Checking out the snowy hill slides. Here he does say snowy. Need to do the summit. Ruins. Perhaps they've been a house once the bolster look sound that if they could their child and then the ones. He's mentioned snowy and specified being near the peak. The peak is here. So I'm gonna return to where that spirit room is. Because that's the closest ruins I can think of. I wouldn't really call it enough to maybe be a house and take shelter, but I guess you could tiny bit take shelter. last year. Not really much of a house either. These ruins are nowhere near the peak. But it is the one of which I said, oh, this seems like it could be last year's one. So let's go check a look. It's, it is nowhere near the peak. And he did mention being close to the peak. Then maybe it's not ruins like this. I didn't mention it sort of looked like the house, and you could take shots from it. Oh, that's Hypnos. And give me go. Last year. Okay, he mentioned me closer to the peak, so let's just start at the peak and see what we can see from there. Jim is right there. Stop. What was that? Was it just any Pokemon or was that Blast? No, that was an Octavax. What thing that sort of looks like a house? Or that could be maybe used to be one? Like you have this path barn with trees. What could be related to where Spectre is? No, I didn't want to fight an engine. Not right now. No! No, no engine. No Ferrari. I call one in the front like I call it Ferrari. I 
I'm not sure where they are, and I don't really know what I can do right now. There's probably somewhere on the mountain for glass room. Close to the peak. That's where Jim Field is. What kind of place it could have been a house? I can't think of it. Oh. I'm not sure. No, no, I did the ogre stuff last time. I don't feel like doing ogre ousting. I don't really know what to do right now, because I know there's more stuff to discover, but I don't know what to do. Are you going to say something important? Oh yeah, of course. We love loyalty plaza drive. Okay. So suddenly nudge your parents or teachers to contribute to cause. You don't have money. I could ask my teachers. Let's see what Mr. Dobbs says. Mr. Jack, I think you're one of the, the only teacher that's here. Around here, right? I sound before. Hi, you want to donate money to charity? Yeah. No. I, I just want to see what the teachers will say. Do I? Do I go back to Naranja Academy and just? find them and be like, yo, you want to give money to Kitakami where you've never been? Or do I just give them all the money? Because I have all the money. Miss Ryfort! I'm done at my native Kitakami. No? Okay. Where's that cell?
I don't donate money to charity. See, they don't do anything. Not much point. Where's the Saguaro? Hi. Beaches room. This is Salvatore. This time. No, no one. Okay. I give up. I'm going back to Kitty County. Maybe there's someone hanging out that I need to talk to inside the hall where, where we stayed during the trip. Otherwise, I don't know. To the community center. How do I rematch Carmine and Kieran? I feel like that should be a thing too. I know of no way to do that. Hello. No. Did. Probably. Okay, so there's nothing here. I'll just go pay the money myself, I guess. I, I have no idea how to get up on the features. You have more money. How many teachers did I talk to? Rifer, Time, Salvatore. No, I've talked to more than three. Here you have more money. Can I just give all the money? I have money. The money in this region seems to not be that much of a problem. feathers, which are useless items. I would say it's more useful than the move Splash, but Splash in Gen 7 actually has use. Z Splash. Increase your attack stat by three stages. It is better than an X attack. And you can use it in, in a battle where you can't use items. Maybe once I get to 930,000, I'll do a normal round of Ogre Austin. And then see if that brings in any money. If it's based on time or battles that I do.
Okay. One round of Ograston, please. Normal difficulty. Two four two two. That's how that regular one sounded. I'm gonna go back because they were slip here. Blues, three more phrase. Nine eight seven six. I'm gonna gather a bunch and I'll see you later what else I need. Probably can um, can hold the perfect amount of areas. That one, that one, that one. Oh, that one's here. Yeah. Saw you breathing. More, more stage. Ten, ten, eight, twelve. What okay, I got? That was not fun. Ready? I just where? Where? I don't see them. Ah, 
Hey, hey! Shit! How do I get rid of him? Lost track of where I was at some point. All right, how much money yet? Okay, I'll just give you some money. If I press 100,000, do I give 100,000 or just 60,000? No, that's straight up 100,000. Why not just 60,000? Why not give that as an option? Basically, it's all it all gets done in one day. Okay. Would you just look? The old monument is back! Thanks. Is that really worth one million? Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well, let me just ask someone how to start the the, the, the patch of everything because there's probably something coming up.
Hi, who wants the battle? Trust me, you want a battle? Yeah. The battle. I asked Voices who was in the stream earlier and has been in many of these DLC streams, especially recently, who also did the traits with this stream, to give me a hint as to how to start the content with Akashi Berry. He mentioned, go buy an item in Kitakami. So, I will go to Kitakami too. But first, let's evolve our Marshall. Bubbles match! Electro shot! Back down, fine. Or not. You're still alive. Focus Ash. Raver! That hurts. And you're done for. I could have just charged up another electro shot. But I don't know what I actually would have hit that. Baby camera. Harvest? Because I don't think it's Quarkle. Well, then maybe at base is a slow. I am back just getting to build the fun fights. I have uh, voices. I decided to just do a battle to evolve um, Marsh Tom. Actually, I could put multiple of them in the team at once, I suppose. To evolve it a bit, evolve them a bit quicker. But I just, I went to Kitakami. Uh, apparently it was like, oh, put the statue back thing, pay us a million. So bring more tourists. And then I got an emote and a new outfit. And I lost a million poker dollars. Oh, it is harvested because it's just very back. That's the trick. Sneaky. Okay, go Cleaver. How'd the Ogre Pond fights go in the selling? Could you make it through? Zakras! I believe so, we lost our Grass Trio in the current fight. Grass Trio? You mentioned you had a Sun Flora, so you lost Sun Flora? Trio. Is it a three people? Wait, is it a three person solving? Three way solving. Wow, yeah. I've only ever done one solving, and well, I'm technically still in one. It's been a long time since we last played it. I still like the hitting right? I really wish that he threw the terror orb with the pan. Like, have it in the pan and use the pan to fling it, or hold the pan. 
Laser cannon. Something like that. Dragon Pulse. Focus miss. Of course it has speed boost. All of them seem to have their special uh, hidden abilities. Focus miss! Actually, this was this was a shout. Are you doing the three-way with people in the far block disc or with others? With Silk and Star. Oh. I'm trying to think, do I have all the Pokemon based on you guys in, in my cover lock? I know Silk was... I think Silk was the 100th Hall of Famer. Silk was a Cloud Sire. Yeah, and Star was Star for V, the Pomot. So they were the my 99th Hall of Famer. And you are one of... You are something in the Electabuzz line, but I don't remember which one. Ravelox. Let's see which one. You are currently an Elekid as a, but you're a future Electivire. You're in my Gen Five. Um, storage. You only get a three-hour window on Mondays. Okay. Yeah, that's finding a, a time to play with three people is difficult. I don't remember what level the Elegate is, but considering it's an Elegate from White 2, I probably caught it in, like, just south of where Verbank is. So... That might just be above Gym 1, so I can't add it to the initial team. Like, before a Gym Leader. Not sure. Here's a super secret Pokemon to catch in Blueberry. Speak to everyone in the club room for hints. I just like do I need to change the art style so they say different things because the only people in the club room are the really four members that person that says a different thing depending on the look of the room And then the item person. There's a super. Su try the canteen. Let's try the canteen. There was someone with yellow text, but that was just the person with the sandwiches. I haven't spoken to many people in the canteen. I just went here once to, I think, get accepted to the Elite Four. Every dish at the cafeteria is a personal favorite of Dragon's Rhinos. None of them look very bad, but just loose speaking, but the mule powers are unbelievable. Uh, just me believe for it's kind of absent minded, but that's pretty cute. I think it's my favorite is strong, even though it's so lazy. Don't want to tell you the hint, but a, but a hint will point you in the right direction. Yeah, I like that, because I want to figure it out as much as possible by myself. But if I don't even know it exists, it, I might not see it for months. Yeah, this is just. to get these really fancy looking meals. What should we put on a catch up? Oh wait, there's someone here. Don't hit a polar biome by the way. Like, it could mean eat some pizza, go to polar biome, but it could also just not be a hint whatsoever.
Move that aside, the scanning is entirely right. Okay, yeah, I think we'll get that out. I don't like that. It makes sense, but I don't like that the classrooms and the school store look basically the same. Stuff, USB candies, rack candies, here you go. Um, other classroom? You know, let's actually swap the Pokemon in, in my party. Three more. Can I handle things with just Ogre Pond and Arcaladon? Evolve them all at once. Ogre Pond or Arcaladon, you better do your job. Well, I think he did give me that pose or something. Ooh. One time I was walking in the meadows in the Terrarium when a breeze blew in out of nowhere. I thought I heard someone singing. So weird. I have... This feels like a hint. But I hadn't figured it out yet. Because I, I, I've read this before. Walking in the meadows in the terrarium when a breeze blew in out of nowhere. I thought I heard someone singing. It feels like a hint to something. The meadows in the terrarium. Breeze blows in. Someone singing. That's the hint, okay. The meadows. Like, the savannah isn't really meadows. Meadows is like grassy fields, which could be here. But it makes the most sense for it to be this area on coastal biome somewhere. That's the most grassy that I'd consider a meadow. So I just need to be maybe in a specific spot. Or somewhere. When a breeze suddenly blows in. And then there's someone singing. But there's already Choreo and they sing. These feel like meadows. Is there an area specifically called something meadow? I think this is biome. This is so hard to explain without giving away the Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. You don't have to. But what in the world still is there then? I I'm trying to figure out what is even available. <laughs> what Pokemon would I be missing or is it a new thing? This is what I'd consider a meadow. I'll just look up the definition of the word meadow in case I just fully misremember. Definition meadow. Piece of grassland, especially when used for hay. Uh, Local near a river. All the images show grass. It's a set place to do something you wouldn't consider doing in the game with the camera. To do something you wouldn't consider doing in the game with the camera. thing is, I have explored the entirety of Coastal Biome. 
in the search of all the trainers, and I've completed that. It's Coastal and Polar, but I've beaten all the trainers for sure. Do something you wouldn't consider doing in the game with the camera. Let's just see. The camera has this. The camera has. Like you can rotate the camera. You can filter. You can do music. What's the music button? This one. You have to be in a certain place with certain music and type of camera lens. <laughs> what? How was I supposed to know? A certain spot. Okay. Considering there's suddenly gonna be a breeze and hear someone singing, I feel like that's the noticeable part that I would then know I'm in the right spot. And then I just have to figure something out with the camera. I have to notice a breeze first. That's not what I was going for. Little brick break. Also, I'll just try to find whatever secret this is. And then next time, we do the <laughs> mystery gift thing. Because I don't know how long whatever the mystery gift thing is will take. So I'll just do that next time, which will be Saturday. Because I'm going to try and do some rank battles. Prepare some battles, uh, some Pokemon for uh, Wednesday. See if that's a stream that I like to do. Nope. Is the location in Coastal Biome? L let's go with that. Is the location I'm looking for in Coastal Biome? Yes, okay. I did not see you. obvious when I'm in the right spot. I was waiting or like waiting for some kind of visual cue for the breeze and hear someone singing so I'm trying to pay attention to the sound. spot in the meadow. It could also be a spot that stands out in some way. Been in all the places, so I would have been in the location already, just not noticed it enough. There is one location, but that's not in a meadow, because it's in Charleston Cavern. 
And I guess one plays in the savannah by him, where I'm like, okay, I feel like something should happen here. But there's a battlefield right at the entrance of the terrarium in the savannah by him, but there's also a battlefield in the Charstrom Cavern. But they're unused. I thought maybe a battle would take place there. We are on a hunt for something secret. Apparently. We got a very vague hint to something that might be cool. You wanna find it myself? Like I'm tempted to ask for more hints to more specific locations. But it would be so, it's so much more of a cool experience if I just find it myself. Said it happened in the meadow, so that wouldn't make sense if it's on the beach. Because in terms of singing, I thought like I'm thinking sirens. Like on the beach, and then you're sent to certain specific locations. Specified that it's on an island. Um. Voices? This is not the Pokemon. I would assume. But I found a thing! Caught on stream! <laughs> Quick ball, go! No, I should have thrown the Master Ball. If this doesn't work, I throw a Master Ball. Good cat! Shiny! <laughs> so I'm fucking really hard to recognize. They don't have the little bling like a lens arc is. They don't have a sparkle. But I noticed that those were yellow. And they're golden. I caught a shiny! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna call you nuggets. Like gold nuggets. Yeah, just nuggets. Yay. Yay, shine. I'm happy I went here. Why are there this many of you for? Elder Pond attack! Save the Grimer. They are bullying the Grimer. Or they're dancing with the Grimer. I could also do that. No, no, take out the Grimer. Alright, 
Well, let's actually put the shinies in the shiny box. That's a shiny, but also these two are shinies. Even though they're the hack shinies. I'll put them in the shiny box. Uh, draw a selection box like this. I need boxes almost full. I could just trade these ones away because these are all the hack ones. This is how I got my Electivire. <laughs> and I think this is probably why I already have the Moltres. And why Inteleon was from here as well, from Hack Trade. All right, we continue looking for this very specific spot somewhere in the meadows. First, we heal. Ogre Ponwa's heart. Of places, not in all places. Um, being up here for a good portion. Somewhere on like an island makes sense, but uh, he specifically mentioned meadow. I've been past most of this area. It's probably a little tiny spot that I didn't do yet. to the western section from here. I can DM a disc for you not to need or unless you want the information. Uh, let, let me try it for a bit longer. Visuals of a breeze. Like, there's a wind going here. That's a breeze. But that could also just be a general thing. That I just hadn't noticed. And also, I don't hear singing, so. It doesn't really help. This is general visual. But it's it, it, it's at least visuals for a breeze. So maybe it is different. I'm trying to hear singing.
haven't been everywhere yet. I know I haven't been in each individual little spot. But it's getting pretty frustrating that I don't know where it is. I have another thing. He said meadow. Meadow is like this section. It shouldn't just be the tiniest grass patch on a mountain. That's not a meadow. This is meadow. There is a little breeze. I will say you will love this, but also we have no idea how any sane person found it. Like someone probably just looked up the coding and told others. I want to be the same person that finds it, even with hints. But, but I'm gonna see. Does the game even tell you anything about how you use this with the camera? Because all I know is just breeze and like the breeze effects is here too. Is this a specific spot that I haven't been in? Where they're seeing. Is it at least outside? Or do I need to go inside one of the caves? Also, now I'm afraid to be in Kitakami. L let's say I don't find it this strange. I'm afraid of being in Blueberry Academy at all in the next few days, just in case I find it. And if it's this cool, I want to have it on stream. I heard barely any music. Maybe the music just loaded so It is outside, okay. You mentioned meadow, so I don't see why it would be up here. Like, I haven't been up here yet. If you find the breeze, it won't tell you anything else what to do, so you could start there. But I haven't heard any singing! And the breeze is pretty much anywhere that there's grass. It was on the western section that was a breeze. It was very, there was a clear breeze. And you get the breeze here. You see the little grass patches. That's a breeze. But I'm here singing. And I feel like I have to be in the specific spot. It's like maybe there's this big area with a breeze or something. But I feel like the breeze is everywhere. It's bigger than that. Okay. So there's a specific spot that I just haven't been in yet. It's a bigger breeze than that. So when I find the breeze, it won't tell you anything else what to do, so you should start there. Yeah. It's very hard to notice. Yeah, that's probably... Like, the thing is, I quite possibly have already seen it. But I just didn't notice the difference. 
Like, and you've been so kind as to just not say that I've already been there. Because there's no in-game trigger, you would have thought nothing about it. Yeah, there's a little bit more visual effects. What? I can't even see you! There's a bigger breeze and they're supposed to be singing. I haven't really been here yet. There's just tiny leaves, so that's not big breeze. I assume I've been in here before. Yeah, we broke him. I broke him. Like I was up here earlier, but maybe I just didn't notice the difference because I didn't really notice the general visuals of the breeze anyway. It was just there. So there is... Hard to notice, but it's a bigger difference. Notice much here. Not at all. It's 100% a grass patch. Yeah. That makes sense considering meadow. a few more leaves now, but maybe that's just because I'm away from the hill and I'm on more grass. I was noting quite a lot of the leaves when I was on the west side. Notice any singing either. I'm really bothered by that. I haven't noticed anything. The only singing I've heard were the sound of reflection there in an Ori Choreo. breeze effects there's just things other than the grass but I've noticed that when I was on the west side too
very confused. Go east from that station. I was just here. In this channel. I see a breeze, but I've seen leaves like that before in different parts. So it doesn't say anything. They've been up here twice now. This is the location? We're not noticing anything. Not much more here than anywhere else. Like now there's nothing. Like it was here that I said that oh I noticed a different kind of like wind effect over the ground where there isn't much grass. Now, I'm trying to listen for singing. No chuck. Noticing any other bridge near where the terror thing is? Back down there? I thought it would be like near a cliff edge or something, near a waterfall that would make this sense. Let's see anything extra. Or here I can see anything. Oh, 
little glittering that I hear is just the Ray Dan and the Stellar Terra Baratheon. I'm not noticing anything specific about the breeze, and I don't hear singing. Some steps, sure, there's a bit more breeze, but like, the trees are moving anyway. All of them are. That breeze is the location. Yeah, but there's a breeze everywhere! I'm not seeing any extra breeze. And I still don't hear singing. So I'm confused as to what the hint is even about. Where is singing? Or where is singing that there isn't already choreo and the other one that can explain it? This is what I mean about it being extremely hard to even learn naturally. Like, yes, there is a breeze here. But I've seen this breeze before. The singing comes from the camp. Like, there is certainly a breeze here. What I've seen... A breeze very similar to this in lots of other places like this consistent grass flying it's been like a thing seconds. So what was the point of that? Yeah, you're pretty much giving it to me, but uh, how would someone find that? You said it was specific music, so I'll just do the different musics. Let me see if there's anything obvious. What is that? Probably tiny Pokemon. This is the battle one. You said don't do anything with the music. You said music. Okay, don't do anything with music. Just look. It's creepy Zangoose staring at me. More Zangoose staring at me. A lot of Pokemon staring at me. They're wondering what the hell I'm doing. There's a Tower Crystal. Still haven't heard any singing. That's a Survivor. It's the same Fletchy Fletch that's been there for the last minute or so. That was a Torkoal. Um, I think I might need to do the spin again. So there's a spin as well? What the hell? So Meadow and Sing, but there's no Sing, but you have to do a creamy spin? And it's the camera lens thing? Huh?
I don't know how long of a spin that I did. I'm looking. I don't hear something. Maybe it needs to be specifically 10 seconds? Hearing anything. The middle of the wind. The wind consistently came from there. Right? It's there somewhere. Somewhere that direction is where the wind's coming from. Yeah, there. Wait, the breeze is in two different directions. There's also a breeze coming from that way. There's the main breeze easily, like, obviously coming from there. You see some stuff coming down here, because there's stuff coming from the left. That again, the, like the middle of where the wind is coming from? Oh! You see how it like tornadoes here? I think I'm in the middle. Because there was stuff coming from there. Look how it goes around me. Because there was wind coming from that direction too. Yeah, I'll do the middle, then do the spin. Get rid of the damn survive I found the tornado spot, it was pretty much there. This is so weird. And maybe I'd need to do the spin in the direction of the wind of the little tornado leaves as well. Because I might have done it in the wrong direction. Blackie! around here yeah right here stop <laughs> trying to do it this secret thing string time is over let me do the thing this is indeed really hard to find but there is indeed this one specific spot where there's a little tornado-y thing. Very not obvious. But it's, it's visually there. So you do that, and then you say clockwise, which is the direction that the little tornado-y thing is going in. And then I do a 10 seconds spin clockwise in there. Let's find it again. It's around here. Here. You see how it's going around me? In here. Now. I know that song. Where is she? Ah, how did I not catch that it was singing and I was doing the flipping parallettes? <laughs> That's cool. How in the world anyone would ever get that? I don't know. 
because there's a breeze everywhere. And you don't hear the singing unless you do this specific thing? So I guess she just stays here now because I've done the specifics. That's so cool. I want to keep listening to the song. None of the legends are in the Pokedex. Not Articuno, not Calyrex. I want to keep listening to the song. You knock it out, you have to do it again. I'm a low adder. I'm a You're gonna do pirouette? No, you're just gonna fight me like this. So I didn't bring um, my spore user nor my false viper. Because I was training up my other Pokemon. You know what but the magic thing is that I did bring? Pokeballs. Pokeball go. No? But, but Pokeballs, they catch Pokemon, right? I, have, I find a Pokemon that I want to catch, I throw a ball at it. That's how that works. Yay! Pirouette time! Do the transform! Yay! Pirouette! Looking forward to using Meloette at some point in the front block too. Okay, fine. Melowada, if that's how you're gonna play it. I have four of them. I should use them. Get in the ball. Yeah, I would not have found this on my own. Even if you would, even if you specified like, "Hey, that's a hint. Go keep looking." At least we got you the little treat in the game. Yeah, it's not on the decks because the decks animation doesn't play either. Meloetta with a fighting Terra. I like that. A Pokemon that doesn't come with its own type as Terra, but it does. But it still doesn't have a fighting move. I'll heal up my Pokemon, and I call it a day for stream. Good stream yesterday, good stream today. I did a lot. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Voices, for being here and chatting with me and helping me towards some things. I would not have found that on my own. Like, maybe at some point I might have seen, hey, there's a little tornado thingy here. But why in the world would I then think, oh, let's do tornado thing? Like, it could be a fun thing that's super coincidental that I tried. But then to turn on the camera, and specifically sepia mode? Excuse me? That's so weird. Okay, so next time... So on Saturday, that is. Um... I, we will go and to buy an item in Kitakami. What item where? I don't know. Probably a look in the festival first. Because... 
I have the, the, the there is still the DLC thing that I the DLC the fetch fetch thing. Also, you know what? Since I'm this close to completing the decks, I'm actually gonna do a few more minutes. Where's the Chansey? Chansey, give most of it. Chansey. Otherwise, I'll take out other things. Chansey, give most. I beat up a Venomoth. Beat up a few Pokemon. Evolve my squad. Oh, there's a Chansey. Now it's gonna run. Bubble Smash. I wanna complete the deck, see what the reward is, because we're so close. Otherwise, I'm gonna do it off screen. I just know it. So I wanna see what the reward is, have it on screen. I feel like me discovering Meloetta could probably be a highlight video for YouTube. Look for Chansey because they give the most XP. I'm not seeing Chansey. Hi, Charmander. I'm just beat up my Venomoth. Well, oh, let's see if we can see Chansey in the round us while the battle's still going. No. Got another evolution. Magic Fox. Two more. We got Rillaboom now, which means Sceptile is going to be our last Pokemon in the decks. There's more Legends to catch, so that's what we will probably do on the next stream as well. Do whatever the Petchaberry thing is, catch more Legendaries, and I think the rest is just figure out on my own. Because then we've seen the main things that the artists see, I feel like, in the DLC. I do want to unlock Gita, though. And in, in stuff for the rematches. I assume Gita's available. In the loop club room. Oh, what's my... Charmander. Okay, fine. I'll beat up a Charmander. Charmander! Oh, chop. I don't even get a bubble smash because that's sad. But that didn't give a lot of XP. Venomoth. Help me towards completing the decks. I think you'll be enough. Wobble! Smash! Yay! Final Pokemon for the decks, yes? 
Zeptile. I'm not overlooking anything. I got Hydrapo, got the trade evolutions. Seems to say so. New Master Ball! Back in my DLC squad. That's what was I doing? I mean, what do I have? Is the other one? I don't think I had a have another one. What's this got me? Let's go see the director. And then, I guess we'll also see what the surprise strike gave us, and then we'll end there. And then I'm gonna go to bed, because I work tomorrow. The reactor completed the decks. Hi, Manny. 240, so Iron Leaves and Walking Wake don't count, yet they're in the decks. Which is interesting. Marked or other special marks, higher chance. Students who achieve great features this deserve to be recognized for their hard work. This congratulatory message, penned by the company that certifies Pokedex completion, is for you. Yay! Reconfigure your Pokedex app so that you may view your diploma there anytime, anytime you like. Yay. Completed both dexes today. He he has already forgotten that you even talked to him. See what that surprise strike was about. And the next time we'll figure out the, the Petroberry thing and then catch a few more legendaries and then figure it out. I very strongly expect next Saturday's stream to be the final DLC stream. The plan is that the Monday streams Um no the Mondays the Wednesday streams, so when my afternoon US morning are gonna be ranked battles and viewer battles. So I'll try to get some teams together for that. Uh, probably won't have many for upcoming Wednesday, but hopefully that'll be a fun stream. That is something that people want to keep seeing and that I want to keep seeing. That I want to keep doing, because I honestly got bored of pinball and I got annoyed at it. I'll probably complete it at some point, but not now. Saturday, final stream on the DLC. And then next week, Monday, that means the next playthrough will start. Monday and Saturday streams will then become Paper Mario. Thousand Theodore on Switch. Easily one of my favorite games of all time. And I waited with playing the Switch on until I could do it on stream. So I'm looking forward to taking you on that adventure with me, rediscovering my old, like, some nostalgia, some cool things about the game. 
and all the things that they've changed. Because I've heard, I've just heard that there have been changes, just not one. I'll see you all next time. Make sure you always remember that you are worth it. Goodbye.